Hey everybody, Tyler D here from astronomypros.com. Today we're doing a video about how to create a ringtone in iTunes um, for free without having to pay a dollar or the dollar or thirty or even nine more than that for 30 seconds of a song. You're going to be able to um, re basically rewrite the format of it to uh, where you can get 30 minutes or less of the song of a full song you already purchased or you already have in your iTunes library. So we're going to go ahead and launch iTunes here and um, you can see I got this song picked out right here already. Um, the band is fully, uh, sorry, the song is fully alive. The band is uh, Flyleaf. Unfortunately I'm not going to play the song because I don't want to have copyright infringement. So I mean you don't really need to know, listen to the song to be able to know it. You can, All you need to do is be able to learn how, how to um, get to a ringtone. So that's why I'm here for you. So I am already picked out this song here, and uh, I want the first 12 seconds of it here. So you can see um, the end time is at 12, of course, and then the, um, then the start time is here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the song here and get info. So this pops up here, and I'm going to go over to Options, and then you can see here where it's the start time and stop time. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click um, 0, that, and then 12. Okay, I want 12 seconds, and I want start time as well. So once you get that, click OK, and then go back to the song, and click Create AAC Version. So that's basically going to copy it, error. So you can see here, create a copy of this song to um, of 12 seconds. So... There you go, and it goes all the way down here to 12 seconds. So now I'm going to take it, and I'm going to click it right click again, and um, make it show in Finder. So it's going to show in Finder here, so you see it's popped up right here. It's the um, fullylive.m4a right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out to my desktop. So I'm going to pop it right down there. Now I'll move in a second click out of this but first I want to um, delete this go ahead and go down to delete delete so now that's gone but now my still version of songs right there so here's the um, right part right here now if I double click this right now it would play in iTunes because it's m 4 a file what I'm going to do is, is change the A to a R which is going to recode it and make it a um, ringtone. So once you tap out of it, it's going to ask you if you want to change it to that. And I'm going to say use as .m4r. So I'm going to click there. So now all I have to do is double click on the file and go into iTunes. And you can see it's re downloading it right now into my iTunes. It's the full 12 seconds of the song. Now I'm going to go to ringtones, and you can see right here, there it is. The 12 seconds in my ringtone of the Fully Life song by Flyleaf. Um, now, you can do up to 30 seconds if you like, but no more. Um, because on your iPhone, if once you download it to your iPhone, your iPhone won't do more than 30 seconds because it will only play at 30 seconds of a song like um, you see here like I have the office um, ringtone basically that's the um, opening of the office and um, it's 30 seconds so once my iPhone's ringing it's going to play 30 seconds or if this right here is um, 12 seconds it's going to play probably about two and a half times until it reaches up to 30 seconds and that's it so I hope this helped you guys. This is the easiest way to that I found to make ringtone in iTunes and get to your iPhone or any other type of uh, iDevice, you might say. So um, always check back here for more videos. We're hoping to do a lot more um, recordings like this. And I hope my audio sounds okay as well. Um, I'm not using a very good mic right now, but I'm hoping I have a mic soon so I can have better quality audio in these videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.